The universe is a vast, undeniably weird place. We've seen more of the universe than ever before, and yet the deeper we look into the cosmos, it seems that we inevitably come back with more questions than answers. Oftentimes, astronomers find things that they could have never imagined, but sometimes they uncover something so peculiar that it defies all explanation. This is Matter, and these are 10 of the strangest galaxies ever discovered. Number 10. The Porpoise Galaxy NGC 2936, nicknamed the Porpoise Galaxy, is located 326 million light years from Earth. Its nickname comes from its odd shape, resembling a dolphin or porpoise jumping out of the water. This galaxy didn't always look this way. A few billion years ago, the galaxy probably looked more like our own Milky Way. It would have a flat disk, spiral arms, and a bright, central nucleus. But the Porpoise Galaxy has drifted too close to another. A dense, elliptical galaxy called NGC 2937 and has begun to be pulled apart by its stronger gravitational pull. The eye of the porpoise is the old spiral galaxy's core and leaves behind a trail of stars and dust as it's slowly being torn to shreds. The interactions between these new galaxies have triggered a new burst in star formation, which makes porpoise galaxy to glow a bright, vibrant shade of blue. Over the course of the next billion years, the two galaxies will eventually merge, forming a new, singular galaxy. Number 9. The Sombrero Galaxy M104, or the Sombrero Galaxy, is 31 million light-years away. From our perspective on Earth, we view the galaxy almost edge-on, which is where it gets its nickname. The Sombrero Galaxy is a spiral galaxy like the Milky Way, but is only a third the size. What makes this galaxy so strange is the dark ring of dust that encircles the central nucleus. In the Milky Way, most of the interstellar gas and dust are spread out throughout the spiral arms. But in the Sombrero Galaxy, nearly all of the gas and dust is concentrated within this outer ring. Hidden within this dark cloud are expansive regions of new star formation. The Sombrero Galaxy also has an unusual number of globular star clusters floating in its galactic halo, possibly as many as 100 times more than the Milky Way. Such a large, diffuse halo of old population star is more characteristic of an elliptical galaxy, and yet, embedded within the halo is a flat disk of tightly wound spiral arms, like a typical spiral galaxy. The Sombrero Galaxy seems to be two galaxies in one. It's possible that the Sombrero Galaxy's paradoxical nature is a result of the cosmic collision between two galaxies. This doesn't entirely add up though, as astronomers believe that the galactic merger would completely disrupt the spiral galaxy's structure, such as the case of the Porpoise Galaxy. Another theory says that an elliptical galaxy might have devoured a significant amount of dust from another galaxy, and the dust eventually collapsed down to form a wide, flat disk. Still, none of these theories are able to completely explain the Sombrero Galaxy's unique structure. The reason behind the formation of its circular, dusty ring is little understood. Number 8. NGC 1569 NG 1569 is classified as an irregular dwarf galaxy, which means it is many times smaller than a typical galaxy and has no discernible shape or structure. The Milky Way has two notable dwarf galaxies that orbit around it, the Large and Small Magellanic Clouds. The unusual thing about NGC 1569 is that it's smaller than the small Magellanic Cloud, yet is brighter than the large. This is because NGC 1569 is a starburst galaxy, one that is experiencing an atypically high rate of new star formation. Despite it being more than 20 times smaller, new stars are born inside NGC 1569 at a rate 100 times faster than they are within the Milky Way. What exactly served as the catalyst for the sudden burst of activity? is still unclear. Number 7. Virgo A Virgo A is a supergiant galaxy located 53 million light years away. It is made mostly of old stars with very little ongoing star formation. It is possible that large elliptical galaxies like Virgo A could have formed by mergers between two or more smaller galaxies many billions of years ago. Virgo A is one of the largest known galaxies and is home to at least several trillion stars. Aside from its size, the distinctive feature of Virgo A is the bright jet of hot plasma spewing out from the galactic nucleus. 
Particles in this jet shoots out into space at very close to the speed of light, creating a plume that stretches for thousands of light years. This jet originates at the very heart of Virgo A, wherein lies a supermassive black hole. The black hole's name, Pauhe, comes from the Hawaiian word meaning the adorned and fathomless dark creation. This supermassive black hole has a mass of more than six billion suns. Surrounding Pauhe is a swirling disk of ionized gas, slowly spiraling inwards to be consumed by the black hole. The energy contained within these focused beams of plasma is equivalent to all the energy produced by all the stars in the Milky Way over the span of 300 years. Virgo A supermassive black hole exploded into public view when, in 2019, it became the first black hole to ever be directly imaged. Number 6. NGC 660 NGC 660 is known as a polar ring galaxy, due to the ring of dust and stars that encircle the entire galaxy. But, this ring does not orbit the galaxy in the plane of its disk, as it would be expected, but instead orbits at a high 45 degree angle. The ring was possibly formed from material captured from another galaxy several billion years ago, and gravity has slowly stretched the material into a wide, narrow ring. This ring is the site of an ongoing star formation, probably driven by gravitational influence from the host galaxy. The gravity of the ring, in turn, causes the disk of NGC 660 to become warped and distorted. In 2012, a sudden intense burst of high-energy radiation was detected coming from NGC 660. This flare of energy was measured to be 10 times brighter than a supernova. What exactly caused the sudden outburst is still unknown, but it is possible that this is the result of something happening around the galaxy's central black hole. Number 5. The Black Eye Galaxy Spiral galaxies get this distinct, swirling structure from the fact that they are rotating. As the stars spin around the central nucleus, the galaxy flattens out into a wide, flat disk with the spiral arms radiating out from the center. M82, dubbed the Black Eye Galaxy, is an anomaly among spiral galaxies. Instead of a singular rotating spiral disk, the Black Eye Galaxy has two. The inner portion of the galaxy is where most of the dust resides, making it look significantly darker than the surrounding regions, and earning the galaxy its nickname. The outer edges of the disk curiously contain gas that orbits in the opposite direction, creating two counter-rotating disks of matter, one set inside the other. At the boundary where the counter-rotating disks collide, there is an abundance of new stars formation driven by the friction between opposing clouds of dust and gas. It is speculated that the Black Eye Galaxy's abnormal structure came from a dwarf satellite galaxy that orbited the Black Eye in the opposite direction of its rotation, a phenomenon known as retrograde motion. Eventually, the satellite galaxy may have merged with its host, creating a counter-rotating disk of gas. Number 4. Cygnus A Cygnus A is the most distant object on our list so far, at 760 million light years from Earth, it is classified as a radio galaxy and is one of the brightest sources of radio emissions in the sky, despite its incredible distance from Earth. When viewed in the radio portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, Cygnus A shows two relativistic plasma jets shooting out from either end of the galaxy, very similar to Virgo A. The presence of these jets implies the existence of a central supermassive black hole, which has been measured to be two and a half billion times the mass of the Sun. Most of Cygnus A's energy output doesn't actually come from the galaxy itself, but from the two enormous clouds on either side. The clouds consist of the hot, radioactive plasma that has been ejected from the core. Both these clouds are several times the size of the galaxy itself. In 2016, a second radio source was detected near the center of Cygnus A. This second source has shown a rapid increase in brightness and now glows nearly as bright as a supernova. It is theorized that this new radio source is actually a second supermassive black hole, possibly from another galaxy that Cygnus A has captured. Gravitational perturbations between the two black holes could be the cause of the increase in energetic emissions. Number 3. The Cigar Galaxy M83, nicknamed the Cigar Galaxy due to its elongated, cylindrical appearance, is a starburst galaxy approximately 12 million light years away. The Cigar Galaxy is actually a disc-shaped galaxy, but from Earth we view it nearly edge-on, making it appear long and thin. The Cigar Galaxy is one of the most energetic starburst galaxies known. Nearly 200 massive star-forming clusters have been identified near the dense galactic center. 
This galaxy also has a unique pair of clouds hanging above and below the galactic plane. The long, tenuous filaments of faint red gas are made mostly of hydrogen, blown out from the star-forming regions of the galaxy by powerful solar superwinds. These solar winds appear to be driven by supernovae, which occur in the cigar galaxy at an exceptionally high rate of one every 10 years. A new radio source was detected within the cigar galaxy in 2010. Galaxies like this are often home to radio emitters, but this source has a signature unlike anything astronomers have ever seen before. It has been theorized that this new object might be some type of micro -cassar. However, a typical micro will emit high-energy X-rays, and this object in the Cigar Galaxy gives off no detectable X-ray emissions. The mystery radio source is also some distance away from the core of the galaxy, making it unlikely that it is related to the supermassive black hole there. The true nature of this bizarre radio source is still unknown. Number 2. Hoag's Object Hoag's object is a unique ring galaxy 612 million light years away. We view Hoag's object nearly face on, so it is visible as a yellow diffuse core surrounded by a bright, bluish circular ring. How such a galaxy could have formed has confounded astronomers for decades. The ring shaped structure could have formed via a face on collision with a smaller galaxy 2 to 3 billion years ago. However, astronomers would expect to find debris from such a collision, but so far have found no evidence of any. The much older, yellow core of Hoag's object also rotates much more slowly than the outer, younger ring, making the collision hypothesis seem even more doubtful. There are some galaxies with a ring structure similar to Hoag's object, but none of them are so perfectly symmetrical, and no other ring galaxy has such a distinct gap of mostly empty space between the core and the ring. For now, Hoag's object remains another unique galactic enigma. Number 1. GNZ11 The final galaxy on the list is GNZ11, GNZ11 is an irregularly shaped dwarf galaxy, only 3% the size of the Milky Way. But this galaxy isn't unusual because of its size or shape, but because of its age. Because light travels at a finite speed, it takes longer for light from more distant objects to reach us. We do not see these objects as they appear now, but as they appeared when the light was first emitted, however long ago. By looking deeper and deeper into space, we are actually looking back in time. If we can look far back enough, we can catch a glimpse of the very early days of the universe after the Big Bang. The galaxy GNZ11 is the most distant galaxy we have ever observed to date. It is so incredibly far away that the expansion of the universe has carried it several billion light years further than it appears to us now. Measurements of the light spectra from GNZ11 indicated that it is a staggering 32 billion light years distant. But because of light year travel times, we only see it as it appears 13.4 billion years ago, which is only 400 million years after the birth of the universe. The rest of the light emitted since that time simply has not had the time to reach us yet. GNZ11's existence began 5 billion years before the Milky Way, and nearly 9 billion years before the formation of the Earth. GNZ11 is so old that it is possibly one of the first galaxies in the universe. It would have formed just after the end of the so-called Cosmic Dark Age before the first stars formed and there was no source of visible light in the entire universe. As telescope and computer technologies continue to improve at an ever-increasing rate, astronomers are able to understand more and more about the nature of our infinite cosmos. Only time will tell what bizarre galactic oddities are still out there, waiting to be discovered. Thank you for watching Matter. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to learn even more about our strange universe.